有个水果，然后正巧有毛，我用耳朵放。Sorry, sorry about that. I was just practicing how to speak without moving my mouth. I was trying to tell you today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to install your mama on your Android phone. Sorry, no, that's not it either. <laughs> All right, the real line. Today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to root Android 10. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, this will work on all Pixel devices running Android 10 and should work, actually work on other Android devices. Now, because Android 10 is slightly different, you will have to patch your kernel or the boot image. All right, we're going to be able to do this using Magisk Canary. All right, it's a Canary version. You can find um, you can find it. Um, go into the menu on highonandroid.com, go under rooting, and go ahead and click on the Magisk and Super SU. All right, and you'll find the download Magisk Canary AVK for Galaxy S10 and Android 10. Go ahead and download the, this is different from the regular version, this is sort of a beta version. This allows you to patch your boot image or your kernel, um, so you can enable root. And you can go ahead and click here to download. Oops. And if it, that doesn't download, try um, doing long press and just do download link. And you should be able to download it. All right, go ahead and install the Canary version. All right. Now, of course, I do assume you're already on Android 10, and that's probably why you're watching this video. Um, obviously, install your Android 10 first. Duh. All right, you should see Android is not installed, and you should see Magist Manager. Now, next, we need to grab the kernel, the boot image, boot.img, boot image, of your Android device. All right, for Pixel devices, it's very easy to do. Go into Settings, go into About Phone, and scroll all the way down, and you should see Build Number. You can see QP1A.1907.1.020. Now, this is obviously for my Pixel 3XL, so I'm going to go ahead and go online here, and I'm going to go ahead and go um, to uh, Pixel Firmwares. All right. Uh, factory images for Nexus and Pixel devices. All right, go ahead and go here, and you'll be able to find all of your um, links. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my Pixel 3 XL, and I'm gonna go ahead and download the one that matches my phone. QP1A190711.020. That matches with this one. All right, if you have a Pixel 3, of course, um, download the appropriate one. Um, so go ahead and download the exact one. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one since this is actually the latest. And I've actually downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel, but let me go ahead and show you. Once you download it, um, you should see Crosshatch, uh, this one here, see? Once you download it, go ahead and double click and extract all, all right? And this will create a folder called Crosshatch blah blah blah. I already did it. So if you go to your download for folder, folder, you see Crosshatch blah blah blah, blah here. I right, go into this directory here, and you'll find all the files here. Now, this is the whole firmware file, but we don't need all of this. We don't need the bootloader. The only thing actually we need is inside this image uh, crosshatch. So double click on there, and we're gonna simply extract this one. So do a copy for Windows, and I'm gonna just go ahead and paste it here. This will extract only the boot.img. All right, so that's the only file we need. We're gonna go ahead and um, copy it. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect my phone as a disk drive. So go ahead, go ahead and go here and set to file transfer Android Auto. All right, once done that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna go into my Pixel 3 and I'll just put it in my download folder. All right, that's all we need for right now. We can do the rest of on the phone. So go. So you should have installed Magisk Manager. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and patch the boot.img. The way we do it is we're gonna go hit install, hit install, and select and patch a file. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and choose the boot.img. All right, and this will patch um, your kernel to include Magisk. Now, later on, there should be easier methods, um, but uh, if you, for right now, you can go ahead and use this method to root Android 10. Now, this should have created a new file called magistpatch.img, which we'll use. 
So go ahead and go back to um, your storage download folder and oops, cancel and try to refresh. Now you may have to unplug your phone and plug it back in because there's some kind of caching going on. Um, so I'm going to reconnect it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and file transfer and I'm going to go ahead and open up my file manager again, going to pixel three Excel. Double click on the internal storage download folder and you'll see a new Majisk uh, underscore patch. So go ahead and copy this and um, go ahead and just simply paste it into your download folder for right now. You also need to download fastboot.zip. You can find that at high on Android. Go to rooting fastboot.zip adb. Um, this is for all Mac, Windows or Linux. If you have a Chromebook, you can also use it. Um, just go ahead and get the ADB tools from the Chrome store, Chrome web market. Um, so go ahead and download Fastboot. All right, all the download links are at the bottom where it says, please wait here. I right, don't click on the ads, click here to download. That will download the Fastboot. And once you have downloaded the Fastboot.zip, um, you're gonna go ahead and double click, extract all, and extract it into a folder called Fastboot. And this will create a folder called Fastboot. And this has all the files you need for ADB uh, for Linux, uh, Mac, and Windows. All right, for Windows and Mac, I'll put the substitute commands on my written tutorial. So check that out and follow along and you should be able to follow along. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this uh, Majisk patch underscore dot IMG. Sorry, Majisk underscore patch dot IMG. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it into my Fastboot folder. Now, just in case something goes wrong, you can also copy in your boot.img in here. So I'm gonna go back here, which is your original uh, boot image. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this also for, for my Pixel 3 XL. Now, if you're using another device, obviously it's gonna be a different folder there. And I'm gonna go in my fast boot folder and also paste this here. All right. If you want to get your phone back to normal, if for some reason, if this doesn't work, go ahead and flash the boot.img. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our phone into fast boot mode. So go ahead and power off. All right. You can also use ADB commands, but I just feel lazy. I don't like, I, I didn't turn off my USB debugging. So this is actually faster for me. I'm turning it off, volume down and power. And this will also, um, you'll learn how to put it into bootloader mode manually, which is more important than using the ADB commands. So now it's in fast boot mode, and we're gonna go ahead and go to start on our Windows computer and type CMD. That will open up command prompt. If you're using Mac or Linux, please go ahead and open a terminal emulator. If you don't know how, please Google it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and type CD download, CD fast boot, enter. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and type CD fast boot space flash space boot space majisk underscore patch dot IMG. All right, that's it. Go ahead and enter. This is like installing twerp on your phone. Sorry, this is like installing majisk zip file using twerp. All right, it's the same thing, but we're just sort of doing it manually. And if, if this doesn't boost for some reason later on, you can put it into the same mode. And instead of this, you can go ahead and install the original kernel. All right. If something goes wrong, go ahead and do this later on. Not right now. Um, and then next we're going to go ahead and type fast boot reboot. Again, I'll have the commands uh, for Linux or Mac, the substitute commands, but you can also follow along. Just read the written tutorial along with this video. And that's pretty much it. And it should boot and we should have a fully working and moment of the truth, you don't need your cable anymore. Go ahead and open up Majisk Manager and boom shakalaka. If it says, um, if you get a check mark there, that means it's been fully rooted. You can go ahead and install any rooted app now and go ahead and run it, such as Titanium Backup App, which highly recommend it for backing up all your apps and data. Um, so go ahead and run it and boom shakalaka. I've tested this on uh, Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL. And it should work fine for all the Pixel devices and also many other Android devices. You can actually pretty much use this for any Android phone. Um, this is sort of the manual method of rooting your Android device. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. This should work on all kinds of Android devices. You can Google it and see if it works or not. If you can't find anything, just try it. You can always reflash the original boot image to restore your boot image.
Yeah, okay, when I do hi on Android, you just show up yeah, on the screen. Anyway, uh, have a great day, and as always, stay <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe.